Hey guys, welcome to this video on the Passionate Few channel. I'm Omar Altar, host and creator of the Passionate Few podcast, where we've interviewed over billions of dollars worth of entrepreneurs, thought leaders, inspiring and impactful people. And where, you know, you could check out the channel if you like, subscribe, or checked out any of our interviews sharing, you know, not only racks to riches stories, but empowering things. I want you to know that I've seen over the past few years how my life has changed by doing interviews. So in this quick video, I'm gonna be answering the question of how the heck do interviews help Presenting me? the Passionate Few podcast. Omar, the podcast rock star, Elton. Omar, it's Tony Robbins. Listen, obvious you're doing good for others as well, brother. Maybe you're a you know person looking to get into the online space, and you realize, man what the fastest way to build my brand? And you realize, man, that's probably interviews, right? If you wanna create content, you realize that you gotta to pay to play, and the price of admission is content in this day and age going forward into 2020, 2021, and beyond. And so, long story short, today I'm gonna to share with you these top 10 tips on how you can actually benefit from interviews to grow your brand, your business, and your mission online. So, no further ado, let's get right into it. You get to tell your story, okay? And whether you have a product, a service, a business, a mission, a book, something in the world that you want to get the, out there to the masses, you got to realize that facts tell, but stories sell. And if you want to make an impact, well, what better way than to tell your story, right? It's one thing to run an ad or, um, you know, have a call to action or whatever it is, but it's an entirely different universe when you get to know, like, and trust people. And think about it on your own. Think about some of the entrepreneurs that you know, like, and trust, or the thought leaders that you know, like, and trust. Chances are it wasn't just a video from them, it was a video of them being interviewed or them sharing their story. So number one, the obvious one is tell your story. And this goes for whether you're interviewed on podcasts or different platforms, which you know we have programs for if you're interested in the description below, you can check those out. Um, or maybe you wanna start a podcast and host your own show or YouTube show, right? So whether you're the interviewer or the interviewee, there's benefits on both sides. And number two is gonna be networking potential. Networking potential. Another way to put that is actually limitless networking potential. You know, I got to sit down with billion dollar entrepreneurs like John Paul DeJoria, Grant Cardone, the Ed Milets, uh, the Lisa Nichols from The Secrets. I mean, some of the most incredible people on the planet, the creator of Hot Cheetos, right? I would have never had a chance to do that if I didn't have a platform. And that platform allowed me to really stretch my network and I haven't paid a penny. Imagine the time it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars that it would cost me to get access to these people, but because I'm bringing them value, they're more likely to get on a platform uh, for free and share their goodwill and tell their story, okay? Number three is you can offer your products and services um, indefinitely. And what I mean by that is you can create what's called evergreen content. Evergreen just means that it will always exist, right? Think about it. How many times have you watched a YouTube video or a podcast that was from 10 years ago, a year ago, 10 months ago, a week ago, right? People are constantly looking for new content and if you're being interviewed or you're interviewing people, now you have a limitless um, platform, so to speak, where you can have unlimited potential to create stuff that other people will watch. People who you know may watch the interview when it comes out, but they may watch it a year, two years, three years from now, or even more, right, months from now. So you, you're, you're sort of planting seeds in social media um, they're gonna blossom for you later. Everybody does this. And if you think some of the most entrepreneurs, if some of the top entrepreneurs or thought leaders on the planet, if you look at them when they're launching their brand, they're everywhere, right? This is why when you know people go to do a movie, they're promoting and doing a bunch of interviews on you know late night shows or whatever it is, right? That's, that's press, that's an opportunity. So you gotta emulate what works, right? If you wanna know what works, study what's already working. So you can offer products and services to an evergreen audience. Number four, you attract your tribe. Now. When I say attract your tribe, right? You know the expression, your vibe attracts your tribe, right? When you're sharing your story and people get to know the vulnerable elements of you, maybe it was a breakup, maybe it was a bankruptcy, right? Maybe it was a divorce, maybe it was a couple business failures. Chances are people who watch your content and they say, wow, me too, instead of just so what, if you're bragging, right? Or telling them stuff, right? But if you're sharing a story, you're attracting your tribe of customers. Think about the people that are gonna be your followers. 
And now it's not about the quantity, it's more about that quality where people resonate. I've experienced this in my own life, whether it was me being interviewed on the Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort's podcast, or you know, tons of other podcasts I've been on, I've had people from all over the world reach out and share with me how their story has impacted me. And yes, oftentimes that's resulted in products and sales, but more important than that, it's led me with a sense of fulfillment because I'm working with my people and I'm putting out stories that resonate with certain people and they're finding me, right? I'm not having to search or whatever. I'm giving from my soul and those people are naturally attracted to me. Number five, you will attract more interviews. And what I mean by that is the second you start going on podcasts or hosting podcasts, now all of a sudden people want a piece of you, right? A lot of times if you don't have a brand or you haven't launched it, you know, we see this with our clients all the time is, you know, you're trying to get your name out there, but you kind of haven't got that one where people have seen you and been like, oh, that person's cool. That one opportunity, that one podcast, that one show, that one piece of content that really sort of tips the scale, right? The tipping point, so to speak, where people start having an awareness. And I know when it happened to me, it exploded my brand. I went from being $30,000 in debt. You guys might've heard the stories, right? Um, never being able to do any of this stuff. And just like that, I was having access, reaching millions of people with views, but it took a couple interviews before that spark lit. And again, guys, this goes for you, whether you want to you know, take initiative and launch your brand by being on interviews, or maybe you want to learn how to be on interviews or how to be on podcasts or how to be on YouTube shows, or maybe you've already done that and you want to learn how to take it to the next level or get on bigger platforms, or maybe you want to do that or maybe you don't and you want to host the show yourself, kind of like what I do, right? And that's what I've helped people do on both ends of that. And I got to tell you, it's one of the most tremendous gifts in the world um, to know that when you put out content and interviews that people like, well, more and more people are going to want interviews, which then feeds into the whole feedback loop of you reaping all these benefits. Real quick, number six is they are fun. They are fun. And what I mean by that is you get to audition different content and actually enjoy the process of hearing yourself speak, hearing what stories work, what don't, what vulnerabilities were valuable, um, you know, what things do you enjoy expressing, what stories do you enjoy sharing, what business principles or thoughts, or maybe products or services do you enjoy figuring out the groove of. See, it's one thing to put up a camera and film content like this. Um, it's another thing entirely when someone's provoking you and sort of asking questions. That's why I got so passionate and inspired to share this video, because it's actually fun. Now, that's a huge benefit and don't forget that, right? With the complexities of social media, remember, um, if you're not having fun, what's the point, right? Number seven is you get feedback. And this might be one of the most important things ever. See, when building a brand online or building a business, right, with your customers or your audience, you wanna know what people are thinking in real time. And what better way than through feedback? Whether it's people liking, commenting, subscribing, right? Whatever it is, you're gonna hear people who are saying, man, I love this part, or I loved when you shared this, or I loved when you had this concept, or you mentioned that business principle, or you mentioned the divorce, or how you find your significant other. And maybe that's that juice, maybe that's that hook, maybe that's that passion that you have that you're sharing, that other people feel it, and you'll hear it in real time. Instead of guessing what people want and hoping it works out, you put out stuff, you see what people like, and then based on the feedback, you can go create more. And again, guys, I know these sound you know, a little simplistic, but I promise you they're true. It doesn't take a big idea to change your life. It just takes some simple things that you're willing to act on. So remember these things, no better way. Um, number eight, nine, and 10. And I'm curious, if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff, comment below and we'll film tons more. Um, but number eight, can you guess what it is? This is my personal favorite, okay? Limitless content, limitless content, okay? Here's what I mean by this. When you do interviews, you can turn a one hour block of time into literally 15 to 20 different pieces of content. Gary Vee talks about this a lot, right? In business, in marketing, in building your brand, you're gonna need content, right? You're gonna need a way to share and express what you have to share with the world. And if you do it through interviews, it's usually a little bit longer format than a short video on Instagram or Facebook, which are awesome, but the algorithm algorithm's gonna be a little bit limited on those, so you wanna go for volume. If you create a long interview, you can chop up that one long interview into you know, 10 one minute highlight clips. You can do a highlight clip uh, that's five minutes long. You can put it on YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and now that one interview that's one hour or 30 minutes or whatever it is that somebody was asking you questions and sort of provoking inspiration out of you, it's gonna flow a lot easier, it's not gonna be as stressful, and you're gonna have a bunch of content at the end of that hour. Otherwise, think about it. How many times have you tried to film a 10 minute video, set up a camera and got nervous and started and stopped and started and stopped, right? So you're being much more efficient with your time and creating a bunch of content that you can recycle and have literally create a limitless flow of stuff um, for you to help people with, okay? Number nine, and this is important to remember, longevity. 
longevity. See, in the digital age, Frank Kern, one of the best known marketers in online space, he's worked with names like Tony Robbins and more, he talks about the fact that the content of today and social media of the future is like the stock market of yesteryear. And what I mean by that is think about it. How many of us now said, man, I wish I bought Apple stock, right? I wish I bought Walmart stock, Coca-Cola stock 20 years ago. Well, it's because it was cheaper then. And the same is true with attention on social media. And nowadays, social media is currency. So if you're creating content now, think about the fact that you're going to build longevity, right? You're going to build content five years from now, three years from now. You're going to have a digital footprint, so to speak. And when you think of names like, for example, let's say Joe Rogan, his recent $100 million Spotify deal. I love Joe Rogan's podcast, but when I first heard it, it was like I would see it, I would check it out. Maybe you, you have a similar story, right? Where you see it, kind of not into it, but because it's so consistent over time and there's that longevity, you go, oh, I'll check it out. And that little check it out, just by sheer consistency, outperforms your doubt, right? So longevity is gonna be super important. And like they say, right, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the next best time is today. And social media stock today is very cheap. Think about the fact that kids, adults, everybody's starting on social media. And there's huge opportunity and huge dangers there. But the reality is the sooner you get started, the sooner you get ahead, and the bigger footprint you build, that again, feeds back into all this, where you can tell your story, have limitless networking potential, offer products and services for many years to come. You can drive traffic, you can collect emails, you can build an audience, and most importantly, you build a loyal fan base uh, of what I like to call raving fans, okay? And that probably ties this whole thing together because if you're telling your story, you're networking, you're having fun, you're giving value, you're sharing your passion, your talents, your products, your services, or maybe just your story with the world, well, there's no better way to do that than to have a loyal fan base and feed that whole process over and over again so that you can reap these benefits and so can your audience. And if you're looking at this and you're thinking, man, this was awesome, Omar, like, you know, I knew I wanted to do interviews. I've always thought about doing interviews. And I just really wanted to come on here today and really just out of the passion of my heart, share this with you uh, to maybe inspire you to think about taking action today, right? To inspire you to think about the fact that there are people that need to hear your story, people that would be moved by your challenges, people that would be uplifted by how you overcame certain obstacles. And literally, they just haven't heard it, right? Your, your people are waiting for you. And I promise you, it's a gift that you know, I wish I had done many years ago, but I'm fortunate I struck when I did. And now I have the good fortune of sharing that with others, whether it's, you know, entrepreneurs overseas or people who are launching a product or a service or have a book, or maybe who are just getting into the online space and had some success online, but they're looking about how they can leverage and create that brand equity. Well, I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that if you take action, this is the stuff that makes the difference. And you have two options right now. One, you could hear this and go, okay, cool video. Thank you, Omar. Appreciate it. I'm going to like, subscribe, share. And the other option is to do that, but to also maybe do something different today. Maybe ask yourself, huh, how could I get into social media? And think about it. What's a lower barrier to entry than just sharing your story, right? Maybe you're kind of getting momentum with social media. I promise you, sooner or later, you're going to have to go into those stories, into the deep crevices of what you're doing. And there's no better way than through interviews, ladies and gentlemen. So these are some of the benefits. They've changed my life. I'm very confident they'll change your life. And I promise you, if you have passion, a gift inside of you, and you clicked and watched this video up until the end here, there's something inside of you calling you. And I would take action on that calling. And you know, whether you have any questions and you'd like to learn more about my passion with interviews, you can comment below and maybe we'll do another video sometime answering these. Um, and also, if you'd like to launch your brand or product or service, shameless plug here, this is my passion. If any of you guys have seen the interviews on the channel, you know that I love to do this. I did this when I had nothing but a dream. And now I have the good fortune of sharing that dream with millions of people all around the world. And, you know, humbly, I'm still trying to learn and grow and share. And so I'm passionate about helping people with this. And so if you're watching this and you go, you know what? I think I might want to hit you up. I think I might want to take you up on learning about interviews. Reach out to me. Follow me on social media. You can click any of the links below. Get in touch with me. And if you'd like to launch your brand, your product, your service, maybe fly out to California on a beautiful oceanfront dock like this um, and maybe launch your brand on our show, we have an application in the questionnaire below. I want to extend that to you. And you can fill it out, answer any questions um, that we have for you just to learn a little bit about more you, about you, your business, why you want to launch your brand, what you want to share with an audience. And if it's of interest, maybe we could serve you in that capacity so that you could be interviewed on the show, have limitless content, open up limitless opportunity. And who knows, maybe one day be one of the passionate few yourself. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm Omar Elatar, and until next time, live strong, live with passion. And if you think this video brought value to you, make sure to share it with a friend. It would mean the world to us. So, oh, also, like and comment. Just real quick, takes a couple seconds. If you do that, it would mean the world to us. All right, guys, 
Peace out. Live strong and again, live with passion. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for enjoying this video. And if you found this content valuable, uplifting, and inspiring to take your life and your business to the next level, then I have some exciting news for you. Because the Passionate Few Academy officially launched our brand new on-demand training that you can access absolutely free at www.tpfacademy.com. Right there, you'll learn the number one way to grow your personal brand or business brand online fast. The same way I've learned from interviewing some of the most successful people on the planet right here on the show who've done exactly that. So again, don't forget to check it out, www.tpfacademy.com. I promise you, you'll be blown away. And also, don't forget, there's three ways you can connect with me further. Number one, you can text me absolutely free at the number on the screen right now and send me your most pressing life, business, or branding question, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Number two, if you'd like to be interviewed on the show, you can actually apply right now in the description below and apply to share your incredible story, brand, or business right here with an audience of potentially millions of people the same way we've helped experts, entrepreneurs, and authors just like you. And don't forget, that opportunity comes with the ability to partner with us and help feed 1 million people through our partnership with Feeding America. Again, you can click the link in the description below titled Interview Application to find out more. And last but not least, number three, if you'd like to get consulting from our team and work with you to help you grow your personal brand or business brand, no matter what industry you're in, we can do that by simply filling out the questionnaire in the description below titled Consulting Application. And if our team thinks that you'd be a great fit, who knows, you may just be invited to work with us to help you take your business to the next level. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for enjoying this video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. And until next time, live strong, live with passion, and I'll see you in the next inspiring video.